the AP has released uh, the results of their investigation into police force brutality against children. And the numbers are absolutely insane. They looked at uh, over 3000 instances of police using force against children under the age of 16. That's how they're defining it over a little bit more than one decade. And they found incidents from 25 police departments in 17 states. So do not believe that this is the entirety of the use of force. That is happening. It's not incorporating a lot of uh, different states. Um, and by the way, these are only the things that actually get reported and logged for them to eventually look at. So uh, understand, first of all, and here's sort of an issue uh, there are no laws that specifically prohibit police force against children. It seems like socially it would be an issue to brutalize a kid, not so much. Uh, some departments have policies that govern how old a child must be to be handcuffed. But very few mention age and their use of force policies. And we've seen the videos of them dragging kids in handcuffs out of elementary schools. So it doesn't seem to be widespread, these policies. Um, and here's the thing, the actual use of force is horrible. The racial component of this is horrible too. Black children made up more than 50% of those who are handled forcibly. Though they are only 15% of the US child population. Massively overrepresented in police use of force. They and other minority kids are often perceived by police as being older than they are. There was a study back by the APA back in 2014 that said that black boys as young as 10 may not be viewed with the quote, same childhood innocence as their white peers and are more likely to be perceived as guilty and face police violence. Other studies have found a similar bias against black girls as well. And that is how you have cops who are far more likely to use a variety of different forms of force, which we'll get into against black boys and girls, Jared. Yeah, I mean, it's maybe it's not widespread. Maybe it's not widely known. I was gonna say this is the most obvious thing ever, as horrible as it is, but maybe it's not. Maybe it's not that <laughs> easy to see for people. Cause if you don't live and experience it or understand or have seen it before, which is again why some people are, are recording encounters, because it causes people who think, oh yeah, that was a one off thing. Oh yeah, they don't really all believe that. This is again, I've said it for things like this when it comes to officials and people in positions where they actually affect someone else's life. This is a societal problem. And it's why the culture wars are such a big deal that many conservatives wage. Reason why they other the homeless and they other minorities and the other women and the other anyone who's doing something that's positive for an approach that may take some kind of clout or, or, or some kind of a position of power away from them. Our whole society buys into this stuff. So you think if a police officer doesn't have these biased accounts and thoughts about black kids, that he doesn't take it into work with him? Yeah. We talked about these studies before when teachers may reprimand children at different levels because of the perception. They are part of society. Just because they put on the uniform, whatever days of the week that they go to work, doesn't mean that they're a different person on the two days that they're not working when they're driving in traffic and they yell at someone or they think that this person is doing something because of who they are. Just yeah. because you feel that doesn't change when you put the uniform on. In fact, it's horrible that we don't find out who these folks are and how they operate before they get positions where they affect other people's lives. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's just crazy and we allow it. And you can, you can literally prove the bias. Bias against kids in particular and conservatives won't admit that there is literally 1% any discrimination, any bias anywhere. Nina Turner and I were talking about Tucker Carlson and the way he was talking about affirmative action yesterday. They don't believe that there has ever been one quark of discrimination in hiring. <laughs> they see little boys as not being innocent if they're black. But no, but that has no effect on anyone. It doesn't affect anyone's life. It's amazing that they can think this. Yeah. This doesn't affect last their lives. It doesn't affect their lives. There's the only That's lives true. that matter, which is why they're so mad at that slogan. Exactly. Uh, and by the way, this involves everything from bodily force uncategorized to restraints, firearms, handcuffs, stun guns, police canines and impact weapons. They're kids, they're kids. Go back to when you were 13 years old and if a cop did that to you, if you would forget about it. Or if it would Imagine just stick if with a cop, you your life. Like for me, maybe for a lot of people, if a cop yelled at me, it would have freaked me out. An impact weapon, what does that mean? What does that even mean? They're hitting you with a weapon, that's all that means. It means it's not a sword, basically.
Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.